Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanna talk all about finding lipsticks for women of color. I mean, let's just be real. It is harder for women of color to just find things that work for our skin tone. I mean, this, this is just how it is. I'm just gonna put that out there and I'm gonna be real. I feel like I've tried it all. I am a class A product junkie, okay? I've tr literally, I have tried them all and I finally have found like my set of favorites that I know will work great for my skin tone. I don't have to worry about looking ashy or anything. Because I've now found like my staple, perfect favorite lipsticks, I wanted to come on here and show you guys what they are, how they look on me, and see if maybe they could work for you as well. So if you feel like as a brown girl, you are struggling to find your perfect nude, your perfect brown, your perfect red, then this video is gonna be perfect for you. As always, you guys already know that I'm 100% against animal testing, so every single brand that I share with you here are 100% cruelty free, so you can feel good about that. But yeah guys, let's go ahead and just jump straight in. Okay, so my favorite kind of lipsticks to wear are nudes, like from brownies to like nudes, and then maybe a pop of red here and there. So those are the kind of colors that I'm gonna show you guys today, which is great because I feel like nudes are something that is just so difficult to find when you have brown skin. A lot of the times nudes are like, really pale and they make us look like we got crusty ass lips, but we don't. Okay, so first I'm actually gonna start with a little lipstick combo, okay? We all like the little ombre look, so I'm gonna show you my all-time favorite. Now this is like an everyday type brownie ombre look. It's not gonna be too deep of a brown. It's almost like a nude, like it's a nice nude look. And then the type of lipsticks that I use are perfect for everyday, super comfortable to wear. So let's do this. So for this look, I'm using the Black Up Lip Crayons. I absolutely love these. The way they're formulated, they're just so comfortable to wear and they last and I just absolutely love these. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in on like the outer sides of my lips with Jum 03. All right, and then for the inside of my lips, I'm gonna go in with like a more mauve color, and this one is JUM20M. Ta-da! So this one is just, like I said, super easy to wear, and it's not too bright, it's not too deep, it's like a good little mix, the two of them together, and it's just perfect, literally, for everyday wear. When I want a little sum sum, but like not too much, this is literally my go-to. All right, so next up is another one of my favorite nudes. So most of the time, I would say like nine times out of 10, I am gravitating towards like a brownie nude. That's just me, I love browns and peachy as well. Like sometimes I'll gravitate towards the peachy, but then there's that one time, like that one out of 10 where I feel for something a little bit more, more pinky, a little bit more on the mauve side. And for those days, I reach out for my Girlactic liquid lipstick in the shade Demure. So I'd have to say, Girlactic's liquid lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas of all time. I'm super, super picky when it comes to matte liquid lipsticks because my lips are super dry and I just hate, like as you can see, even when I'm applying my lipstick, I like to mama, I like to, you know, smack my lips together and stuff and it's just, if it's too drying, it's just, I can't do it. So this formula is great, the best of both worlds. It's got the staying power, but it's also like super soft and very comfortable to wear. On to the next one. All right, so next I wanna have a quick chat about Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm gonna just call it ABH for short because that is a mouthful. ABH has some of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Like the colors are just there. But I do have to say that their formulas are slightly on the drier side. Um, so whether it be their liquid lipstick or just their regular lipstick, both are just slightly more drier. I do still think that they're very much wearable, but again, they are on the drier side, so I do take that into consideration before I slap these bad boys on. Okay, so first let's talk about their regular lipsticks. Now, when I tell you that these are matte, 
they are matte and I love them and hate them for that reason. I absolutely love them because once applied, they are just beautifully matte. Like for regular lipsticks, it's hard to get them like super matte. I just find that somehow because it's a stick, it just kind of can sometimes look a little satiny, but these are like 100% matte. Now with that being said, it also feels that way when you apply it. So again, it's something to consider. I have found two amazing browns in their regular lipsticks and I'm about to show y'all right now. Okay, so first up is Cool Brown. This is probably the only cool tone nude that I own, but I absolutely love it. When I'm looking for something different, like again, I always gravitate towards like a little warm brown, and I think, you know, when I'm ready to switch it up, do a little different look, this is bomb. As you can see, the Cool Tone Brown just kind of gives you like a cooler look. I don't know how to explain it. It looks a little bit more vintage-y, I think, and I just, you know what this gives me? This gives me 90s vibes. All right, and the next one I wanted to show you is called Latte. This is also very bomb. This is slightly more cool toned as well, but it's more like, it's got like a little bit of purple in there. It's like a purpley brown. Let me show y'all. You can kind of see like the similarities with Cool Brown because this is also very cool toned. But this one I think is like a little bit lighter. So if you're a little bit lighter skin toned, maybe this one might work for you a little bit better. This one is kind of like a muted mauve. I don't know, this just gives me a completely different kind of vibe. Like this looks really good with like an all black outfit. I wore this once with like a black hoodie. I had my black afro out and with this lippy, mm, it's just, I don't know, something about the cool tone is just like, Something different. Okay, and we all know that ABH is also super well known for their liquid lipsticks. I do have to say that the range of their nudes and their liquid lipstick line aren't very melanin friendly, but I definitely fell in love with one of their shades and that is called Ashton. It is an amazing peachy nude. This is literally just my favorite peachy nude of all time. This is what Ashton looks like on. This is amazing. Again, I do have to say that their lipsticks can be a little bit drying, but they do have that staying power, so we can give them that. But honestly, I just like how peachy this looks. This is one of my favorite colors to wear like during the summertime, like a little night out on the beach or something like that. If you wanna get a little peachy vibes, this is like perfect. Peachy vibes, man, peachy, love it. All right, and then last but certainly not least, I got to talk about Fenty. Riri is out here killing the game. Fenty is probably the most inclusive brand out there today. Her liquid lipsticks have got to be my favorite of all time. 100% hands down number one favorite for the formula as well as the color range. She just continues to keep dropping new colors and Girl, I'm here for it. Shout out to you, Riri, Caribbean Girls, run it. So I have two very favorite shades. First, I'm going to show you the brown, which is called Unveil. Oh my gosh, something about this brown is just Magical, okay, and then the formula, we gotta get into this formula because it literally feels as light as air. Once it dries, you even forget that you have lipstick on. I don't know how, and then the staying power is also there. Like, I literally don't know how she did it, but she did that. This brown is amazing. I feel like it is perfect for all skin tones. People way darker than me, way lighter than me, can all just enjoy this shade. It is a beautiful milk chocolate. Brownish is so chocolatey and delicious. Mm, 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 mm. All right, and then for my very last lipstick, but certainly not least, this is probably actually one of my favorite lipsticks in this entire video, which is the shade Uncensored. I had to throw in a red lip in there. This is my all time favorite red. It is a true red and it is just absolutely stunning. I've seen so many different people wear this. It is absolutely stunning on everyone. Anytime I need to wear a red, this is my go-to. I 
I mean, come on. This is everything and more. It's like not too bright, not too deep. Like it's the perfect red. Riri, you did that. You did that. We didn't doubt you for a second, girl. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Those are my all-time favorite lipsticks for women of color. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I sure did, and now I feel like I need to go somewhere now that I've got this red lipstick on. Hunty! If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so so that we can become friends. You can see all my videos and know when all the latest videos drop. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!